My name is Giselle Kalenic, and I'm a lead statistician at the University of Michigan's Center for Statistical Consultation and Research, also known as CSCAR. In today's lesson, we'll be covering node classifications using InVivo 9. To start, we'll navigate to our existing InVivo project file. In this InVivo project, we have four participants, Barbara, Margaret, Robert, and Thomas. Thus far, we've worked with theme nodes, or nodes that contain ideas expressed by our participants. We can also create nodes called case nodes, or classifying nodes, and these nodes can be used to carry attributes like age, gender, ethnicity, associated with each of our study participants. We'll start by selecting our nodes tab. What I'd like to do is create a folder in my general nodes folder to contain these case nodes, these participant nodes. To do this, I'll right click on top of nodes and select new folder. I'll call this folder participants. And select OK. Now we'll navigate back to each of our sources. If we right click on every source, Individually, we can select Code Sources, and here we'd like to code sources at a new node. What we're doing is creating a node for each study participant. I'm going to create a node that should be located in the participants folder called Barbara. We'll try that again. We'll right click on Barbara, select Code Sources, code sources at new node. I'll use the select button to navigate to my, to my participants folder and select OK. And we'll try this again. There we go. We'll do the same for Margaret. Right click, code sources, code sources at new node. This node is called Margaret. We'll do the same for Robert. And Thomas. If we had additional information, let's say a focus group transcript that Barbara, Margaret, Robert, and Thomas participated in, we could open up that focus group transcript and highlight all of the text associated with Barbara and code to our existing node called Barbara. Anytime Margaret participated in the focus group, we could highlight her responses and code it to the node Margaret. Same for Robert and Thomas. Next, what we need to do is create a classification sheet. To do this, we'll click on Classifications. Earlier, we created a source classification. Now what I'd like to do is create a node classification. I'll select Node Classification, and in the white space, I'll right-click and select New Classification. I'll call this new classification person and select OK. Next, what we'll do is we'll navigate back to the nodes that we created, our case nodes, and apply that classification that we just created to each of the case nodes. To do this, I'll right-click on each of my nodes and select Classification, Person. Next, what I need to do is actually go ahead and assign the attributes from an existing Excel file to my person nodes. I can open up a classification sheet that's already been created that contains information on Barbara, Margaret, Robert, and Thomas. It contains their age, their gender, and how many generations they lived down east. 
what I'd like to do is basically import this information into InVivo. Before I go ahead and import this classification sheet that's in Excel format, I want to be sure to close out of it and navigate back to my InVivo project. I'll select classifications I want to be sure that I'm in my node classification section and I'll right click on my person node classification when I right click I can select import classification sheets and I'll browse to the location of this classification sheet on my desktop, I've saved that Excel file, the classification sheet. Once I've obtained it, I'll go ahead and click Next. This is a node classification. This will show up by default. And I'll go ahead and check these boxes as well. I'll then select Next. Now I need to tell InVivo how to basically merge the InVivo project information and this Excel file together. I want to merge the node called Barbara along with the row of information in the Excel sheet called Barbara. Same for Robert, Margaret, and Thomas. I'll select the As Names option and browse to the location of these person or case nodes. They're located in the Participants folder under Nodes. I'll select OK and Next. I'll leave all of this as default and select Finish. Now we see a classification sheet pop up associated with Barbara, Margaret, Robert, and Thomas. Now we can use information from this classification sheet later on when it comes to querying. We may hypothesize that males and females have different opinions when it comes to environmental change in the Down East neighborhood. We can do a matrix query to investigate this later on. This concludes our lesson on node classifications using InVivo 9.